Weak gate? Problem 2. Magnetic coils of a tokamak, tokamak fusion reactor are in the shape of a toira, to, toroid, 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 having an inner radius of 0.7 meters and outer radius of 1.3 meters. The toroid has 800 turns of large diameter wire, each of which carries 10,000 amps. Find the magnetic field, magnitude of the magnetic field inside the toroid. Toroid. I can say it when I don't try. As soon as I try to say it, I'll run it. All right, so the idea here is we basically have like a solenoid. A solenoid is a oh, oh, piece of something with a wire wrapped around it like this. We have some current going through it. And creates a magnetic field. Oh, oh, that was terrible. Probably switch the colors here. Let's do blue. Creates a magnetic field like this. Well, if you take this solenoid, it creates a uniform magnetic field. Well, if you take this solenoid and then wrap it in the shape of a donut, then you get a toroid. So, it's asking us a magnetic field in it. And I'm sure we could probably figure that out using um, Ampere's Law. I don't care that much, so we're not doing that. So, I'm going to type in magnetic field of a toroid. Magnetic field of a toroid. Bum bum bum. Ooh, I could probably just click. No, nope, not shopping. Hmm, what if I can buy a toroid? I probably could. Don't want one. Don't want one. Just show me the formula. Show me the formula. Ah, here we go. Um, no. Here we go. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Finding the magnetic field inside a toroid is a good example of use. Ampere's law, current enclosed, etc., 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 etc. So basically, it gives us the pretty much the same equation as a um, solenoid, except when you're closer to the middle, it's going to have a higher, and outside it's going to be bigger, which makes sense. So we're going to totally go with that. All right. So I'm going to start by writing down the form that we got here. So we have magnetic field. I'm going to say solenoid. Solenoid, toroid? Meh, whatever. Meh, I'll just go toroid. Mu naught i, number of loops over the length. And then we have an r involved. And there should be, I think, a 2 pi. 2 pi r. Because uh, solenoid's straight, so it's just mu naught n, which is number of turns per length. I think here the n includes both. Um, no, no, it doesn't have the length. Here, and this is number of turns. Okay. So, I would not memorize this. You'll probably be given to it on an equation sheet. And if you're not, memorize it like 10 seconds before the test. Um, what did I have for the L there? L there? Nope. That's just 2 pi r. 2 pi r is the length of the toroid. Okay, perfect. Got it. So now, we're just going to plug in some numbers. So for the inner radius, we're going to have 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7th times, what is it like, 10,000, 10,000 amps. So I'm just going to do 1 times 10 to the 4th. There we go. Number of turns, 800 times 8 times 10 squared over 2 pi. And then the radius is going to be 0.7. 7 times 10 to the negative first. All right, so get out the red so I can start canceling and make it a little bit finer. There we go. So this guy is going to make this negative 6. 4 and negative 6 can be negative 2. Negative 2 and positive 2 is going to be 0. Bam! Actually, that worked out surprisingly well. So if I add all these up, it should be negative 1. Yeah, totally are. Nope, no, I didn't mean to do that. And then that'll be 2. So I have 16 over 7. Wow. That's uh, surprisingly round. 16 divided by 7. It's like 2.2? 2.2? 2. 2. 2. 2.29. Okay. equals 2.29 Teslas. Huh. 
Ah, good for me. Good for me. 2.29. Alright, let's do the other one. The outside, the larger diameter, and a radius of. Yep. Alright, so along the outer radius, we're going to have the exact same equation mu naught i, number of turns over 2 pi r. I'll call this r small, so it be r large, big. So 2 pi times 10 to the negative 7 times 1 times 10 to the negative 4th times 8 times 10 squared over, because everything here is exactly the same, except instead of 0 0.7, we're going to have 1.3. So we're going to have, oh, it's supposed to be 4. Alright, so now, since I have red for contrast, I can cancel blue. Alright, that's supposed to be plus 4. So this is going to be negative 3. Add these together, we're going to have negative 1. So then we're going to have 2 times 8, which is 16 again. But this time we're going to have over 1.3. I'm going to do times 10 to the negative first which is going to be 1.6 divided by 1.3 which is like, I don't know up, up. 1.6 divided by 1.3 we get 1.23, ooh it's repeating with a period of 6 1.23 which kind of makes sense because you're going to have a stronger magnetic field towards the center where the magnetic field lines will be closer together. So 1.23. This guy will be 1.23. There we go. Magnetic coils of Tokamak. Yeah, is that all they're asking? Yep. This is probably the only time question you're going to have to do dealing with toroid, toroids at all. So I would do this problem and then pretty much forget all of it. But if you want to do it, this is how you this is how you do this problem. Um, use the formula and make it work. All right, that sounds good. I will see you on problem three.